Hey, this is Presh Tollwalker. Catherine asks, how many fish did you catch? Barney says, I caught five. Alfred says, I caught two. Barney then says, don't listen to Alfred. You have to multiply any number he speaks aloud by six to get the real value. Alfred then says, don't listen to Barney. You have to subtract two from any number he speaks aloud to get the real value. Catherine knows Alfred always speaks aloud a number equal to the real number divided by some constant. And Barney always speaks aloud a number equal to the real number plus some fixed value. Catherine, after thinking it over, says, I know how many fish each of you actually caught. How many fish did Barney actually catch? And how many did Alfred actually catch? I thank Halvor Chiros for creating this problem and sending me its solution. It has a very unique mechanism out of logic puzzles that I presented. Can you figure it out? Give this problem a try, and when you're ready, keep watching the video for the solution. So at first, the problem seems easy. But if it seems easy to you, you might be falling for the tempting but wrong answer. You might think that Alfred, every number he says, you have to multiply by 6. So if Alfred says he caught two fish, that means he caught two times six, which equals 12 fish. Similarly, from Barney's number, you might think you have to deduct two from the number he speaks. So if Barney says he caught five fish, you might think he actually caught five minus two, which equals three fish. But this is the incorrect answer. The problem is that Barney adds a constant to every number spoken aloud. So even the claim of 6 is not the true value. That number 6 has also been modified by the number he adds to spoken numbers. Similarly, Alfred divides by a value before speaking a number aloud. So the claim of 2 is also not correct. So before you figure out how many fish each person caught, we have to figure out the correct fibbing values of each person. How do we do that? Let's suppose that A is the factor to multiply Alfred's spoken numbers to get the true value. This is Alfred's fibbing factor. And let's say B is the constant to deduct from Barney's spoken numbers to get the true value or Barney's fibbing factor. Now Barney says that Alfred's fibbing factor is six. So we write this that Barney speaks six equals Alfred's fibbing factor. Now we have to adjust the number six by Barney's fibbing factor. So six minus B is the real value of Alfred's fibbing factor. And Alfred's fibbing factor is equal to A. So we have 6 minus B is equal to A. Now Alfred says that Barney's fibbing factor is 2. So if Alfred speaks that 2 is equal to Barney's fibbing factor, we have to modify that number 2. So we have 2 times A is the real value for Barney's fibbing factor. Therefore, 2A equals B which is Barney's fibbing factor. So we now have a system of two equations in two variables. 6 minus b is equal to a, and 2a equals b. We can use the second equation and substitute it into the first. So we have b equals 2a, therefore 6 minus 2a is equal to a, which then means 6 is equal to 3a, or a is equal to 2. Since b is equal to 2a, that means b is equal to 4. So we've solved for the fibbing factor of each person. 
we know that we have to multiply Alfred's spoken numbers by two to get the true value, and we have to deduct four from Barney's spoken numbers to get the true value. So when Barney says he caught five fish, that means he actually caught five minus four, which equals one fish. When Alfred says he caught two fish, he actually caught two times two, which equals four fish. And that's the correct answer. Did you figure it out? Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel. I make videos on math. You can catch me on my blog, Mind Your Decisions. If you like this video, you can check out my books, which are listed in the video description. You can also support me on Patreon, and you can catch me on social media, either at Mind Your Decisions or at Presh Tallwalker.